Okay, here I am. Um, I'm back. <sighs> so, it's been kind of crazy. I have tried filming, recording a couple of times and getting it on my computer and it's just not working. And by the time I start really having the energy and the time to play around with it, my cross stitch stuff is um, already been worked on. It, it's further along is what I'm saying. So here I am trying it again and we will see what happens. Um, let's see what's happening in my life. I am done with um, work. School let out on Friday. And we got all the cafeteria stuff all cleaned up, packed up and put away. And I mean everything. Like I was exhausted on Friday because we had to even pack up the office since they are, um, they are uh, doing construction in the kitchen. Like they started today, or at least that's what they said they they were going to do, and um, the seniors were done a week ago. I uh, let's see, I had to be at work for almost ten hours one day last, not last week, but the week before, and then I had to be to work really early the next day, not as early, but just a couple hours earlier than normal um, and then I was pretty busy over the weekend and I was just so exhausted that I found myself taking naps again and yeah it, it was pretty it was either really really busy or there was a period of time when we had nothing to do so it didn't keep us busy and the day just dragged on and so it was back and forth it was it was between the two um, so we are done, we're finished, and this morning was the first morning I woke up and it felt really weird that I didn't have to be to work. But here I am, and I am in the process of moving a lot of things around. I moved my family room around and I moved my bedroom around. I actually did a little film of my bedroom before I started moving stuff because that is where my craft station is at and that's why I'm in grubby clothes my hair is just back and oh well because I have been doing all that and my husband will be home tomorrow and I thought I better get this film up a video up I keep saying film get this video up while I can and I hope I hope, I hope, I hope that my phone will connect to my computer and the, com and the video will connect to YouTube because nothing was working. Like I said, nothing was working. But I'm going to get going on this. I had a little haul come in and I filmed that haul when it came while I was um, still working every day and I think my dog is making weird noises and I think that was like a couple weeks ago and then I have a little haul with me I have my whips and I did forget one it's in the living room and then I will tell you my plans so because that was the whip I was working on in between resting from moving the furniture so my back wouldn't give out. So I will go ahead and I will take the video that I did of my haul and I will insert that right here. Hi, so I just got home a little while ago um, from work and I grabbed my mail and inside was a couple of packages. Um, one was from an eBay order I got 
and the other I assumed was under the sea fabrics because I know she was finishing up on her orders so I brought them in the house and after I got all settled I made myself a cup of coffee which is kind of funny because it turns out my um, package I got was from Ingeborg's uh, A Stitch Too Far. Oh, try to not do that. And I opened it and started pulling everything out and I saw um, a certain design and I knew who it was from. So I like stopped, decided to go ahead and fil uh, film this. And if you watch A Stitch Too Far, then you know that me getting coffee was a perfect idea right so I did pull everything out because I didn't want to sh um, open up the full package on here because on one side has my address and on the other has hers and I wanted to keep that you know private so I do have the stash right here and she had said that um, uh, for those who won um, a couple of these things she was going to throw some extra well you didn't need to throw that much extra oh my goodness I, I'm going to open it I'm going to open it here so you can see what it is so I can see what it is but let me show you real quick um, this is what I got off of eBay it's to add to my um, Santa's Village collection and it's the Hot Cocoa Cafe. And how cute is that? The little umbrella, table, and chair so you can have your cookies, hot cocoa, and sit in the snow and consume them. It's too cute. And this is the Elves Workshop. Man, that's like terribly grainy. Da -da. It's not coming out very well. But yeah, now I got to um, add this to my list and see how many more I need to complete that. And remember, I'm still collecting the Mill Hill kits for the Christmas Village. So here we are. So here's my stuff. Here's my stuff. So that's mine. And this is what I want. This is what I was expecting. That was just, you know, too kind of her to do. This one says, keep calm and carry on. Now panic and freak out. And it has everything in it. It has the, the floss and the beads and the um, fabric. And what I love is that... Um, I've been wanting to try a darker fabric and stitch on it and this is perfect it's perfect because it's small gives me an idea what it'd be like and I know I'm gonna love it so this is gonna be so much fun I, I want to stitch it today I think that would be okay I think I should do it and I have um, scissors that has scissor fob on it um, in one room that my friend made me and I have another pair of scissors I sit in here and every time I use them I think I need to make a scissor fob and then when I won this it was perfect thank you that is just doing the drawing that was so kind of you you didn't have to do that and it's just perfect and I I just love it. It's from the Sweetheart Tree. I'm just so excited. I am really excited. Thank you. That is so kind. Um, yeah. And it's just my teeny weeny. Oh, it's glary. So if you're interested in, in it, it's number 177. I know I have seen this around on Floss Tube. But yeah, it's cute. I just love that. And then I have a package. Alright, look at the paper. 
Look, I want to keep the paper. How cute. It is really just so kind of you. Look at that. This is that sparkly fabric. And if that... I guess I should show you. Look. It's so sparkly. I've been wanting to try the sparkly and their little buttons. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't expect it to do that. It's like a needle binder on both sides. Oh, it's glaring and fuzzy. Look. It's butterfly. Did you know I had a thing for butterflies? I know I mentioned it. Oh, seriously. I can't get them apart. That is like super strong. Show you with my terrible nails because it worked. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, come on. Oh, I hope you can make it out there. Oh, perfect. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's so kind of you. And I've been wanting to try, um, uh, stitching on this kind of fabric too. Oh, you know my mind. Perfect. Oh, that's so cute. It's so, so cute. Yeah. Just love that. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything organized here. I feel like there's something... There's something else in there. <laughs> Look, it's by the stitch on this, huh? I drop. No, you can't have that, Rico. That's mine. That was with the fabric. It was inside that. I was like, it still feels hard in there. That is so cute. Yeah, that will be perfect. I stitch it with that. Aww. That is awesome. Thank you. That is so sweet. And then there's another package. The balloon. So I'm kind of doing it outside of the shot. I have dogs around me, so I don't want them getting on it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Fabric. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Here, let me show you up close. See that? All from our beautiful country. Look, it has the little, just like the, um, the, uh, little stitch. Cute. And this is gorgeous. Oh, I would love to stitch something like that. Look, the cow. That is perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. You didn't need to give me so much. Oh. That is so kind of you. Just way, 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 way too kind. Thank you so much. That was so generous. 
so excited. I can't wait to show my friends this. All this stuff. This is perfect. Oh. I can't wait to show my husband, too. Yeah, it goes with the paper. <laughs> Seriously, that is oh, that is just over, over, beyond kind. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I just absolutely love these. I love everything. Everything. That is just... Okay, I'm gushing now. <laughs> I just thank you so much. You're just so sweet. And I absolutely love watching everything you do. And, um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to get off so I can look at my letter. This little... Okay, I'm kind of floored right now. I'm just kind of a little floored right now. Um, yeah, I like never win anything. <laughs> and then when I do, it's above and beyond what I expect. So I'm going to go and let you go ahead and finish watching whatever it is that I recorded. Talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so that was really, really a nice, special gift to get. I really appreciate it. Thank you again so much. Um, yeah, it was so nice. Um, let me see what I have here. So, I don't know if I showed these to you, but I also received... This is the apothecary of the Mill Hill. I love that house. Um, I have a ver very special place in my heart for um, Victorian homes. And I just absolutely love them. I just, oops. It's one of my long, long dreams to own a Victorian home. Here is a train depot. So I'm getting those collected pretty good. So you know I'm collecting the Santa's Village. My plan is to do the Santa's Village and hang that one up in the living room at Christmas time. And then hang the Mill Hill ones because I'm going to do all those on one big piece of fabric. And put that in my family room. The other thing that I got. I hope I can get out of plastic. Was May's free pattern from Stone Stony Creek. And I plan on ordering June this week. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And I do have a question. One of the things it called for is the glow in the dark floss. So I went ahead and I got it. I've never worked with it before. And then when I got it and I was um, checking it out, it feels like plastic. And I don't know how I feel about stitching with that. So my question to you is, have you ever worked with this and is it worth doing? If it's really difficult to work with, um, I'm just going to find a couple of DMC colors that will match this. I don't really care if it glows in the dark or not. I thought it would be fun, but... You know, it really doesn't, it, it really doesn't matter a whole lot to me. If it's going to be really, really difficult to deal with, it's not mm, that important at all. But if it's pretty easy and it's not that big of a deal, I'll go ahead and do it. So I would really, really, really appreciate if you know how well that is to stitch with. Um, I got uh, my cross stitch gold in the mail also and I got my just cross stitch in the mail and both of these are due for renewal 
and I'm kind of at the point I've got three subscriptions to magazines because they also have the Stony Creek and I don't know if I want to renew this one when I got the first year this is my second year with this and I got the first year I uh, I really loved it there would be multiple patterns that I would stitch that I knew I would like to stitch and um, out of a year I think there may have been one or two magazines that only had like one thing in there which was fine because it all balanced out well I renewed it right away I knew I would want to keep getting it well the last few that I have gotten there's really not a whole lot and this one this is about the only thing I'm really interested in stitching uh, I don't know I guess I have to go through it again and decide I don't know this is really pretty but it really isn't something that would fit in my home with how I decorate but that is really gorgeous. And it's um, a rainforest. Rainforest observer. I don't have my contacts in and I don't have my glasses on. This is really, really pretty. <laughs> really? He had his opinion. I mean, there's some really pretty patterns. Um, I just, I don't know how well it would go in my home and how we are decorating and fixing things up. I don't know. And it's like, um, this is really pretty too. But would I stitch them? That's that's just it. I tend to stitch something I know I'm going to hang up. I'm not one that wants to stitch and keep it in a bag. I have multiple things that I really want to frame. And I never really got into learning how to frame until recently. So I will be putting those in something. Because it drives me nuts knowing that they're not framed. I really have decided that I am going to renew this one. It's funny because I was thinking about if I was not going to renew one, it would be this one. Then when I was flipping through these, I found so many in here that I just love. I just love this. Is that not the cutest thing? That could go in my dining room. There was another one. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't think it'll go in my house. Um, but I would almost be tempted to stitch this thing just to stitch it. And like I said, I don't do that. I like to have a purpose for it. Um, maybe a gift. It is so pretty and such bright colors. And, oh, that was the pattern. I want to stitch this and turn this into a pillow, just like it shows on here. Maybe a different style of pillow. But this looks like my cat Yoda, and he absolutely loves hanging out um, outside and sleeping in the backyard, like right next to my um, calla lilies. But looks like Yoda. So I would definitely love to stitch that. Plus I love butterflies. And then I want to stitch this one here. And put it in my bedroom. Because I actually have a painting. In the same era. That's in my bedroom. And it would be perfect. So I'd like to uh, do that. And put that maybe. Either right next to the painting I have or one above my bed and one above my craft station. I don't know. 
so let's go ahead and show you my whip I am going to show you this one I think I'm going to have to pause my video because I forgot something and I promised I would show it and I think you know what I'm talking about so this was my I say so a lot don't I I think I said that in multiple videos I um, chose this one for the May Magazine stitch along that I'm doing. And I was right at the end of May. And I didn't even bring my cardboard. That's pretty brilliant. Well, let's see if you can see it. Got a lot of not natural light in here. So this is as far as I've gotten, and it looks like a big brown blob because the lighting is terrible. Um, I I got that far, and then I really realized how many color changes there are. There's actually four parked threads here just in that little area and I started to really look at the pattern and realized that it's almost a full coverage piece and I really could do a um, the parking technique with this and I'm seriously thinking about doing that because I was just so confused on which, well not confused, but how do I say it? I was, um, I can't even think. Pause. <laughs> Indecisive on what direction to go with that with some of those colors because some were over here and some were over here and it was just a little crazy and that's just the eagle. So I think really thinking about um, going ahead and just starting on the corner. Maybe leave those park threads there. That would be fine. I'll get to it. I don't know. Because then I would have to do a lot of counting to get over where I would start. Maybe I'd start over. I don't know. I've got to come up with, with a plan. Eventually. Before I start it again. I'm trying to find something I can use for the back. Because I did not bring my stupid cardboard. So I've been working on this. I started on March because I have to frog all of that. I was off a stitch. I did one stitch too many on the tip of her hair over on this side, which I discovered I can correct very easily. But I didn't know it until I started stitching all of this and something just wasn't working out. And then I tried to compensate and I just made a big mess. I mean, believe me, I feel more better about uh, frogging it. it it's got to go. I'm at the point it just absolutely has to go. And I was coming in doing the white, trying to see if I could just fill it in and forget it. So not only was I off a stitch, which caused me to be off a lot of stitches up here, but this is a 28 count and I'm doing two over two. And one of those stitches is two over one. I must have been watching TV. But I had this on a rotation and I just kept ignoring it and picking something else up. Because it just, I just couldn't look at it. And so yesterday, no, no, I think it was Saturday. I made a decision to go ahead and just frog that and come over here and start working on this. So I frogged the white and I started working. And when I was working over here, I was really, really enjoying it. And so that told me that 
it is the best decision to get rid of all of that and start again because it was just too much just too much I don't know maybe other people could have just winged it maybe I should have just winged it but it's too late I've already cut into some of it it's going so when this is my rotation later on I will frog some and then stitch some arch frog some and stitch some arch and then when that's all frogged I will finish up February and that's fine it's, it's just a fun piece anyway I'm not going to stress over it I was stressing over it when I was trying to compensate for that one stitch and I'm just overdoing that okay the other piece I was doing there's a few pieces I was doing where I was just cleaning up thread because after the Jesse Marie sale, I had some time on my um some time left in the month of May but not enough time to actually do like a week rotation or anything so I just picked up what I wanted and just stitched and had fun and I would um what else Oh, and then I knew I had a couple of weeks and left of, of work, and then I was going to do a different rotation. And I don't know what I had, all I had said on my last video, I just don't remember. But this last week, I've just taken some of the stuff I'm stitching on, not everything, and just finished up what I started with the Jessie Marie. So on this one here, I had done two and a half rows, and it was during the day of her favorite color, which one of them was purple. So I had stopped doing this part of the house. This is the one that says I haven't been the same since that house fell on my sister. And it's just that funny, fun stitch I'm doing. So I stopped that and came up here so I could do the purple. So the other day... I went ahead and picked up the purple and just finished that up and all I have to do is there's two more colors in between and I will do that the next time I pick this up and then I'll go back down here um, and do the windows do the second color of the bricks finish that I have a plan but this is really, 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 really fun to do. And if I didn't have so many whips, I would be so much further along on this. Because I would want to stitch it all the time. Hi, buddy. My dachshund went on the couch and he doesn't have the legs to jump on here. Well, if you come over here, I'll pick you up. Don't give me the sad look. I also picked this up and I have a second and final question for all of you I went ahead there is a bug flying around me I went ahead and I took my parked black that I had used to backstitch oh that's falling um, backstitch the ladybug and the bumblebee and I just wanted to clean it up and then come over here and stitch this last leaf so that's why I only got that far on the back stitching of the um, sunflower. Here's my question. I am not overly thrilled over the back, the black back stitch on this um, sunflower. I'm just not. I love the really bright vibrant color of the of the sunflower and looking at this and looking at this I really think it takes away from it it doesn't look natural like that and when you look at it from a distance it actually looks like a real sunflower um, putting that black in just kind of took away from it now normally when you backstitch it really makes the picture pop it gives it dimension it um, it gives it its form and I don't think that's happening here I think it's distracting from it 
So my question is, do you think I should just finish it with the black? Do you think it's going to look better once I'm all done with it? Do you think I should take that out and use a different color? I'm thinking maybe like um like a reddish yellow or a reddish orange, maybe reddish orange and do that or should I just take that out and not backstitch? Uh I think backstitching the the leaves will look really really good because you're going to be able to see the vein that's going to come through here. And with that dark color green, I think it'll be fine. But putting black with that sunflower color, I don't know. I'm just wondering if um, I'm just not seeing it right. And I'm just used to seeing it without the back stitch. But I put so much work into that back stitch. Or not back stitch, but that that flower that I don't want to lose that beautiful look it has so um, go ahead and tell me what your opinion is on that I have some time before I back I'm supposed to back stitch anymore because I'm doing this and I've got some bugs or butter oh my goodness I can talk can um, bumblebees and then I have a ladybug that's going to be sitting right up here. So I have a little bit of time before I need to worry about backstitching the rest of that. So the color just totally walked out on me. But yeah, there's that one. Your opinion would be much appreciated on that. Very, very much. I also was working on my winter scene from my Four Seasons. And if you notice, I put it in a different... Um, thingamajiggy to to uh, stitch in put it in the Q-snap there's my bell from Beauty and the Beast got that from Brenda from Brenda's Minders and More along with my um, really pretty um, crime guard I'm at the point on this house that I am able this is all I have left on the house is right in here and I'm able to take a color and just stitch that color until it's done and then go to the next color and um, I'm doing well oh there he is I'll let you look at this while I grab my dog <laughs> there we go um, I did the orange I think he was outside he's wet attitude I did the orange and then I started doing the blue and discovered that I had to frog some of the orange. But I didn't have to frog a whole lot. So I just need to finish that little stitch up. I'm holding my dog. It's kind of hard. Work with me, buddy. It's just right up here. Whoops. And then I can, um, he's giving me a bath. I can go ahead and continue with the blue. Okay, how about you go sit over here. There you go. Okay, running out of spaces. Then I worked on this. I'm working on a lot. I'm just not working a lot on each one. I finished this up. I just went from over here down to over here. And I was stitching this on her... Um, Stitch something pretty on Jesse Marie's Stitch Something Pretty Day, if I remember right. So all I have to do on this for the center is on all four sides, I need to do some more back stitch of this little diamond shape. And then another... Um, eyelet. Uh, what do you call it? Algarian eyelet? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, against that. And then I will be done with the center. And I can start doing the stuff outside of that. So that will be fun. I really, really, really like that one. And then I also stitched. I, I'm still stitching on the wedding piece. Maybe I'll grab that when I grab the other thing I forgot. So I said it, I said it in a little video, 
my haul video, I started at, I got the word and. It says to start at the top where the crown is. I just started in the center. I was really nervous about starting it anywhere else with this dark fabric and wondering if I measure it right. And so I just started in the center and I got that far and you probably cannot see it very well. The lighting here is terrible. It's really late. Uh, but I'm really liking this. I'm going to be stitching on this a little bit each day. I didn't get to it today um, because I was doing a lot of the moving around. But tomorrow I will have the time to start working on this every day. And I'm going to be working on something else every day. So again, Ingeborg, did I say, I'm probably saying her name wrong. Um... Thank you again. This is really a lot of fun. I do have the, if I can grab it. I just showed you the pattern in my little video, but yeah. So I'm doing that one. And then in the very bottom of my little box, I have a completed piece. For June, it is June now, like June 19th, and it's not even FFO'd because it's just been crazy the like, last couple weeks at work. Not even time to do a really good film. When I was filming, ah, uh, recording, when I was did record the couple that I was trying to get on there, they weren't very long. But I'm going to be finishing this. I just, you know, we're going to have another June, and that's the other thing that I will be. Stitching on a little bit each day. I'm going to have my uh, my rotation piece, my hazel in the evening, but I'm going to have enough time in the morning after I have my breakfast and coffee to stitch a little, and then stitch a little again later on in the afternoon. I, I I'm going to have plenty of time. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to pause. Because my other project is in the other room, and I thought I had grabbed it, and I didn't. So, I will be right back with you. And I am back. And since I went and got the hazel piece, I went ahead and grabbed the other one that I was working on, which is the wedding sampler. And my nephew got married like a couple weeks ago. What I am going to be doing with this, I'm going to change a little bit. There is, I don't know if I told you that or not, but there's this part here that it's the same as this one and this one. I'm really hoping it's coming out clearer than what I'm seeing. But I am taking that off. I think it's just going to look too crowded. And then the other thing I changed was, you can't see it because of the decoration on here, but there is a crown and then an M and an M. And I'm assuming... It's for Margaret and Margaret. There's really no point in that. So I'm not stitching that. And then there is a spot for your initials. Pretty large in the year you stitched it. Pretty large. And I'm not doing that either. The focus is there. Um, the couple. The couple's name and wedding date. So here it is. I have, you know what, I'm just going to take it out because I was going to take it out earlier and then I set it down and I didn't do it. It needs to be moved. I'm at that point. I do have a thread here, but that's okay. I'm almost done with the final, uh, wedding rings that are on the uh, chart so I've got uh, what does that say joined in holy matrimony so I have to put their date and then her name is here and then I have more stitching up here to do I got all of this done the whole verse done I got one set of ring 
wedding rings, which was supposed to be up here. And then I'm doing the second one, which was supposed to be up here. But I lowered them since I'm taking that whole crown off. And then I will be doing the um, border right here. And I'm actually thinking about, I'm looking for the chart and it's under here. That was really brilliant. I'm thinking about um, just lifting this border up a little and putting it across here right underneath the rings since I'm doing away with the stuff that's over here. We will see. I will, don't fall. I will start the border up on top. Well, it'll be up here somewhere. I'm really hoping all of this wrinkles come out. But I will start it up here and go down and see how it goes. Once I start stitching on it, it goes pretty quickly. And now I have the time. So today was this piece's rotation. And I will be finishing up the ring. I want to finish it up today. And that's all I got to. Since, like I said, I'm moving stuff around. And now is the big piece and I'm really hoping you can see it with this light really hoping you can so here she is I am done officially done with three pages and I've already started on this one I'm sure you probably thought that most of this would be done by now but like I would come home, like I said, and fall asleep on the on my chair. I was so exhausted and I would be so tired that I was afraid I would mess up. And it just, I just, I would rather get it right than to mess the thing up. I'd rather be a little behind than to try to frog a full coverage piece. So, that's why I'm where I am. But she's coming along. If you look up closer, you can see her eyes a lot better. But, uh, yeah, she's, she's looking so good. And she needs to be done. She needs to go home to her mom. And I cannot wait until I give it to her. But I am going to have more time, too, to stitch on her. I'm hoping to be able to start earlier. I'm hoping to be able to maybe stitch an hour on her in the afternoon. And then stitch on her in the evening. We will see. So that is everything that I have to show you. The only thing I have left, I'm looking around to make sure. Um... Yeah, the only other thing is I have my magazine sal, and I'm at the point where I'm collecting so many whips. I've got so many whips going that I, and I feel like I'm constantly showing them to you, and I'm not getting, oh, there it is, that I'm not getting them done. So I decided that I need to work on smaller pieces. I need to. I am getting quite a few things picked out for Halloween season, fall season, Christmas, and nothing really for summer. And I came across this. Glare is so bad. And this is in the same magazine as the Eagle that I'm doing. This is Stony Creek Spring Collection. And I was thinking about doing this and turning each one into um, cubes and just sitting them out somewhere on a table during the summer. And the stitching is not very big at all. It's very quick. If I can't finish that, then I'm just hopeless. So I went through the colors that I need and I need a few for them because I don't have quite that many vibrant colors, very bright colors. But I started discovering 
that they take some specialty flosses. Now, some of them, like Weeks Dye Works, I can sub for the DMC, which I plan on because they're just tiny things. If I was doing a little bit larger stitch uh, or something that I would have out year around, I would love to work on all these special uh, flosses. But um, I really have to look at the individual ones that I'm doing. He went back up here. They all followed me when I went in the other room. I don't know why. Oh, there's, I gotta watch your back, buddy. You have to pick up a docks of a certain way. Um, this is not one that I care if I use the specialty flosses. So, there is a variegated one, which is no big deal. Uh, but I think I'm just going to work around it and pick colors that's going to work. I will use all the charted colors, but that is my plan. And there's enough in here to get me through until October, I believe, because each one of those is a separate stitch. So, in my opinion, it's all coming out of a magazine it's not all connected it's not like it's a chart that it's charted like that it's not it's on different pages you can stitch it all together like a bell pull or it says you can stitch them individual and they gave you the pattern individual so you can do what you want and it just tells you to put like a stitch or two in between them if you put them together so that's that's my plan okay he does not want on my lap he is not a hugger he just uses me to get on the couch. My rotation piece, my, or piece, my rotation. Uh, I, what I'm planning on doing is I am going to be stitching for three days. So the wedding piece is today, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday is going to be the happily ever after. So I can get going on that and just get that squared away. On Sunday, Sunday is my free day. Yeah, I have to give myself permission to do a free day. I really want to get back into knitting that blanket for my son and loom knitting the um, the the blanket for my husband because by the time I get it done, it'll be winter. I swear it will. And if I want to do a little extra reading, and if I feel like pulling out a small stitch, I will. No big deal. That's that's my plan during the summer is a three-day rotation. I tried it out uh, what was it, last week, and it worked really, really well. Maybe a week before. I don't remember. <sighs> but it worked really, really well. Last week, not so much just because it was just hectic. I don't think I can express to you enough how hectic it was. But doing it the week that I was able to stitch for three days was really, really nice. And what was it? It was at, um, whatever, June piece a couple weeks ago. I, I did that for like 30 minutes. It was no big deal. I am going to continue doing the monthly ones every single day. Hopefully, I can eventually get ahead. And I just decided that I am just going to pull these out again and I'm going to do them and just store them away uh, or think ahead of time. But that doesn't seem to work. But I really, really wanted to finish these because they're really pretty. Um, Tina from, um, oh, you know who I'm talking about, my brain. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about, right? She's she's doing them. I think she's done, but uh, she really inspired me to do them, and I want to start on those again. So I will be doing both of them, just a little each day. No big deal. It probably is a big deal when it comes to me. <sighs> oh, well, I'm having fun. Getting out in the garden, that's been a lot of fun. I, uh, 
like I said, I'm changing my room around, changing my bedroom. I'm really excited about that, getting that all squared away. So yeah, that's, that's my plans. And I hope to be filming a video once a week. I'm hoping it will either be Sunday evening or a Monday morning. I'm shooting for a Monday morning. I think that's what I will be doing because I'm going to have the natural light. My bedroom will be squared away, better be, and I will be able to film in there and I've got a really nice big window in my bedroom and so I'm going to have a whole lot better light to do this. I also took pictures of the stuff that I have already showed you so you will know um, where we left off. And I'm hoping to bring out my charts for any newbies who are just tuning in and you're like, well, what does the finished product look like? So, yeah, everything is just totally on my bed. I can't even, I don't even know if I'm sleeping on my bed tonight. Charts are everywhere. Just, I don't even know where anything is. So, I couldn't pull those out. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here because I think the last video was like, I don't even know. This is 13 minutes. You put it all together with everything else I have. And we're probably looking at about an hour. So I'm going to take off out of here. And finish that little ring. And try and find my bed. I really don't want to sleep on the couch. That that That's no fun. Because I have five dogs that's going to want to be around me. Not good. I hope you all have a wonderful week, rest of the week, and we will see you all back here on hopefully Monday. There's absolutely no excuse why I can't keep up on these. So thank you all again for watching and for all your patience, and thank you again for any answers you can give me out of the two questions that I have. And if you don't have the answer, that's okay. It's all right. It's no big deal. I'll figure it out. Have a great day great stitchy time. Take time out for the craft you love to do. Talk to you later. Bye everyone. Alright, I'm going to try to make this quick because that video I filmed yesterday was extremely long. So this here is the craft little dresser that I got for free and moved it into my bedroom. And as you can see there's chaos right now because <clears throat> I've known for a few weeks that I was going to change things around, so why put everything in there when I was going to have to pull it out? It's just my son and I going to be lifting that thing, and he's stronger than I am, uh, but I still have to have an end. So this is the shortest wall, and you know, there's my husband's dresser um, and my dresser, and they both need to be cleaned off also. but. Uh, There's the biggest wall, and it's going to go over there. Somebody wants my attention, can you tell? It's a little pathetic. Uh, never, may I, uh, never mind the unmade bed. I'm stripping it since I'm moving the whole bed. Um, so, I'm trying to make, not make the camera shake. But, um, yeah, I used to have this bed over on the other side. I'm going to pan really quick again. Hope I don't make you sick. But I thought it was a little weird having my bed on the side that my um, door opens. And behind me where I'm standing is a window and has the heat vent. So it can't go on this side. Uh, and you couldn't set anything up along the walls anyhow if I did. Um, so that is my plan. Um... I do need to paint that door, which leads out, and that door that leads to my closet. Uh, I've already painted one, so I am planning on doing that, but I will come back and show you the end result uh, when I'm all done. And see how it turns out, and exactly where I will place my craft station, and then 
hopefully I will have it organized. So thank you all so, watch, um, so much for watching again and watching such a long video. See you in the next week.